channel. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hello. So today we are still in my driveway, but we are heading to the Marblehead Peninsula Lighthouse. So I will be able to show that to you, and then my kids are weird. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you when we get there, guys. So guys, we are here now at the Marblehead Lighthouse, right there is the historical landmark. I will definitely um, take, a picture, really take a picture of it for you guys and post it so you can pause it. Um, actually, not very many people here today, but they have restrooms right here. It's like a drinking fountain and you can walk this way, there's all parking. There's benches. Yacht. Jack yacht. <laughs> and then you walk up this way. It's a really cute little spot. This is the carriage house. Storage. It's Storage. carriage house. Yep. Here's the signs to tell you what everything is. So that's the carriage house. The life saving stations are all the way. The lighthouse. Oh. That's another keeper's house. Come on, guys. When we pulled up, we thought that was an actual person sitting there. Yeah, yeah I get that that was an actual person sitting there. It says Edward Martin Herman. 15th keeper from 1933 to 1943, U.S. Coast Guardsman assistant keeper at House Shoe Reef, light in New York from 1907 to 1913, assistant keeper at Marblehead Lighthouse from 1913 to 1933, last keeper before the USCG took over Marblehead Lighthouse. Pretty cool, interesting fact. Is that a monkey? So I'm, no. Not sure if this is the same as the one over there, but I will include it just in case it's not. You can pause it and read it. So we keep on going over here. There is a lookout station. You can look out for. 25 cents here is some more information it says the view from here so you can see Perry's monument and all the islands some information about each of them there's the lighthouse and there is the picture of the glacier grooves that are in Kelly's Island this is like really weather-worn but they're a lot bigger than the ones at East Harbor. Fun fact that there's actually glacier grooves here at the lighthouse as well. But here's this information. I like the boat way. You can pause this and read it if you guys would like. Lots of rocks and stuff that you can just sit on and chill and look at the lake. And then there's the keeper's house. Then there's the lighthouse. It's actually rather huge. There's just a um, tree in the way. And here's Kenny's bathroom review. Hi. They have a fancy new bathroom and it is better than my house. <laughs> it is clean and huge and smells good. Smells good, guys. So let's keep walking this way. Come on, boys. Oh, the youngins are having a, a grand old time. Also, fun fact that in these rocks over here, there is actually um, fossils in the rocks, and I will show them to you as well. And here's the for the lighthouse. And 
And here is the lighthouse. So big. I don't think it'll fit this way. But yeah, there's the lighthouse. You can walk all the way up to it. On certain days, not today, but on certain days you can actually climb all the way to the top. The water is kind of choppy today, guys. Let's see if we can find some of these fossils in these rocks for you guys. But we'll walk up to her. She's big! You can walk around here. I don't know if she was taking a picture. There's a lady here with her children and I didn't want to get in her way because she is taking pictures. But, let's see. Oh! Here's the calendar for the events that are going to be here this summer. I'm more excited to going down there. So we can try to go down here. There's like steps, but if the water or it's slippery, we will turn around because. See if we can find some of these fossils for you guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look at this. This is kind of cool. Whoever JMC is, that's in there. And that's really, really old. That's cool. Nope, that's. There's a pipe, Coda said. But there's fossils in these rocks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, my wanderer friends. Don't. Careful, it's wet, baby. Parkour. Like right here. That is a fossil. Yeah. Of a sea sponge looking type of thing. It's a there's sand. another one. They're all over this rock. Pretty cool. The rocks are very loose. This like tree area. Alright, let's get back up on the actual path, the boys. But Oh look what Noah just caught guys. Hello no Hello. All right, now put him down where he lives. <laughs> Guys. So there is the lighthouse keeper's house. Let's see. It might be open and we might be able to come in. I doubt it though, because I've never seen it open. It's supposed to be a museum and a gift shop. Here is the lighthouse keeper's house, okay. life-saving stations. Hours are for Memorial Day weekend, which is now through Labor Day weekend, noon, oh that's why it's not noon yet, till 4 p.m., seven days per week, open the, the Saturday of the Lighthouse Festival in October. We can still go up and check it out though. Got lots of pretty birds, flowers. It says AD, 1880. And you just go up through there. And it's the museum and gift shop area. And it is handicap accessible, guys. You can wheelchair accessible. But I'm not sure if you will fit through the door. <laughs> Here is the side door. It says exit only. So, but. It's a pretty fancy house for being from back then. So let's go back around. It's not open till noon. Yeah. What time is it? Not close to noon. Oh. 
yeah, it's only 10 o'clock here, guys. But I will bring you back over this way and show you the life saver house. There is um, geocaches here as well, but they're not physical geocaches. They are, um, let's go show them this round thing, guys. They are not physical geocaches. They are actually land geocaches type things. Probably from what a frog pee. All right. See these? These is a big circle. This cool thing in the middle. And these all got little engravings on them. Do you think this will lead to an, some ancient thing underground? Huh? Do you think this will lead to some ancient thing underground? I mean, it's a place. compass. Yeah, See, it? north, south, east, and west. Yeah, These are all like in loving memory of people who I'm assuming came here a lot because, yeah. Over here is the life saving station. It's dedicated to all those who cherished a Marblehead lighthouse. This way. It's really pretty. Trees. Looks really nice. I had a friend actually who got married over there. So you can actually get married here. If that's your thing. There's more benches. And more of these things. For dedications to people. Look at the bird. It's got such red and yellow. He's pretty. I'm trying my best not to step on him. Well, it's a walk path. You're going to step on him. So here's information. This is the Life Savers House. Life Saving Station. Here is information. The building is a replica of the U.S. Life Saving Station, which was built in Marblehead in 1876, which I'm assuming is this one. It's the Coast Guard in 1919. And the Life Saving Station, oops, sorry, in Marblehead in 1890s. But once again, you can pause the video and you can take a virtual tour of the station inter, inter visit here and select the life saving station and you can take like a virtual tour of the inside of the life saving station. But we're going to go over here and look at the plaque on the wall. Don't mess with that one. It hasn't been placed yet. So, here's a plaque on the Life Saving Station. So this building was constructed by Marblehead Lighthouse Historical Society with private funds and given to the state of Ohio in 2016. It is in honor the captain and crew of Planks Noners of the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Winslow Grisler, Grisler, commissioned by Sector San Juan, Pedro, Puerto Rico, sorry, 11 of March 2016 with appreciation and gratitude to U.S. Coast Guard Captain Winslow, Greaser family, but I'm assuming you can go in this as well. Yeah, because the sign said you could. It's got stone, so it's not very handicap accessible, but there is things in there, so when it's opened, you can go in. But here is the platform. You can see right here. The boat would come through these really big doors. Hold on. These really big doors would open and the boat would slide out on these things right into the water to go and help and rescue people. It says the Life Saving Station. So this is really cool and interesting building as well. Here's a shot from the boat thing. And Noah. Go to wait.
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. The Marblehead Lighthouse. Um, if you're ever in Marblehead, Ohio, make sure you come and see. If you're here by noon, you can actually go into the lightkeeper's house. And some days you can go up into the actual lighthouse itself. Ooh, it's getting bright and sunny. Um, there's picnic tables, which I'm sitting at right now. There's the light uh, life-saving station as well as the bathrooms, which Kenny said are really cool and the carriage house there's also trails which we went on an adventure through one of the trails so make sure you check out our video on this chick lisa of our walk through the trail it was super cool and we found something really awesome so make sure you give a like on this video and subscribe turn on that bell so you never miss an adventure and as always get out there have an adventure and just wander bye